Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are new here then hello, my name is Zoe and this is my YouTube channel. Today we are getting down with the spring cleaning. We're going to be cleaning all my makeup today. My makeup kit which I use on clients is already deep cleaned and been put away because obviously we're on lockdown so I can't use it. So that's already been done but today I'm going to go through my makeup collection and show you how I deep clean everything. This will be pretty much the same as what I do with my pro kit and I'll give you tips on how to clean your makeup kit as we go through. It's pretty much going to be the same, but my makeup's probably going to be a lot dirtier because I always neglect my own stuff. I've got all my cleaning products down here. I'm going to show you how I clean everything from makeup palettes to bronzers, pencils, all that kind of jazz. So we're going to have a really good spring clean today. I really hope you like this kind of video. Let me know down in the comments if you do and give it a thumbs up because that lets me know that you like it and you want to see more. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe as well and we'll just get into it. If you have watched my last few videos you will be more familiar with this whole setup, this whole vanity and makeup studio now. I have done a full like organisation and vanity tour which I'll leave in this corner if you're interested in my collection which I've got. So my makeup professional kit is under here, that's all been deep cleaned so I'm going to use everything that I use to deep clean that to deep clean my own makeup because I always neglect my own stuff whereas I'm really OCD about my professional kit being really clean. When it comes to myself I'm really, <laughs> I'm really bad. This is just isopropyl alcohol basically, it's to clean like your hands and tools before you do any treatments. So I've got that. To spot clean my brushes in between clients, I've got the ISO Clean makeup brush cleaner because that's really good. I have some diluted Sephora in here. I use the Linen Fresh one, it smells lovely. And sometimes I will also use some isopropyl alcohol. This is 99.9% .9 pure alcohol. I've only got a little bit left of this now, so I'm not going to use this today. And then the other thing that I have is the Hygiene the Pro Hygiene Collection. This is makeup spray, so you can spray this on your actual makeup to disinfect it. I've got a couple of clean cloths. These are freshly washed. I try not to use wipes as much as I can. If I do, I try and pick up biodegradable ones, but at the moment with everything that's going on, you can't find wipes anywhere anyway. So the other thing that I've got is some kitchen roll. Sometimes I use a bit of toilet roll as well even though these are hard to get your hands on at the moment, but I feel like it's not that bad now. I think the toilet roll issue has calmed down a bit. I'm not going to be cleaning my brushes today in this video because, to be honest, they need a really good deep clean, and I feel like that's a whole other video. So if you want to see that, let me know down in the comments. But I will show you how I would spot clean in between clients if I was going to. Obviously, these are my own brushes, so they are a little bit dirtier. But all I'll use is a bit of kitchen roll. Well, if I'm doing my own makeup, I'm just folding this in half. I will do this in between like colours. If I need to use the same brush, then I'll just quickly like spray it, uh, take the colour off, and then it's ready for another one. So I use the ISO Clean brush cleaner, and I'll just pop a couple of sprays on to the kitchen roll, and then I'll just get my brush and I'll just swirl it around, I don't know if you can see that, so I'll just give it a good swirl around and you can see all the colour is coming off on the paper and I just keep swirling until the brush is like completely clean. After a few seconds this will be completely dry so you can go straight in with a new colour or you can use it on a new client then because you obviously can't completely wash your brushes in between clients because when it takes too long and they would know where near be dry, they'd be soaking wet. So these are really good for sanitizing and cleaning all your brushes in between clients. I'll show you one with a dark color one and then you can see what it looks like. So this has got like purple and blue on. Sometimes I do find like bolder colours will stain your brushes a bit but it should come off after I give it a really really good deep clean. So you can see the colour coming off on there now. So yeah brush cleaners are well a must for makeup artists but if you don't do makeup on other people they're really good for just spot cleaning your brushes like in between colours and things. And if like your foundation brushes get filled with product quite quickly, these are really good so you don't have to keep on like deep cleaning your brushes all the time. In my top drawer I've got this box which is full of like my highlighters, blushes and um, just like single 
palette powders, like face powders and stuff. The first thing that I like to do is just open them all up. Sometimes you might find on your own makeup, especially uh, pressed powders, is that sometimes when you've used it for quite a while, you'll get like a hard film over the top. So like when you put your brush in, nothing comes off. So that is like the oils from your skin getting into the compact and it creates like a hard film on the top. I know it's gross. <laughs> Even though we only use this on ourselves, doesn't mean that it's not like covered in bacteria and germs. It is important to clean your actual makeup. I feel like there's a lot of emphasis on cleaning your brushes, which is really important because again, bacteria builds up in them. Just holding old makeup and bacteria and it is gross, but your actual makeup is just as important. So what I like to do, I do this on my pro kit as well. I'll get like little squares, <laughs> toilet tissue. Sometimes I use kitchen roll, but sometimes I feel like it wastes quite a bit. I'll just go over the actual powder and just wipe off the top layer of the powder. So I'll use that for one side. I try not to be wasteful with the tissue. So I'll just give everything a wipe over. I can maybe do like three compacts of one side and then I'll fold it over and I'll just give these a wipe. This just helps to stop that layer like being created and it just keeps all your powders nice and fresh. Okay so they're all wiped. The next thing that I'll go in with is the Pro Hygiene Collection. This is the antibacterial makeup spray. So it says it safely eliminates bacteria from makeup and beauty tools. So with this you can spray it on any powders or compacts and creams. You can even spray it on like your spatulas, tweezers and stuff. It won't destroy or change the formula of any of your products so you won't even know that you sprayed it on. It's so good. It doesn't leave any residue on your powders like the actual product but it does leave a slight residue like on the rims and like the mirrors of your compact so you do have to wipe it over after. So this is why I do this step first on my prod on the actual powders and then I'll use the Sephora to go around the edge because it disinfects all the palette then and it also takes off the registue re registue Reg residue that this has made. So let's give this a spray. One spray is more than enough and then after about 60 seconds you, everything dries and then we just wipe off the residue. So that is when I'll use one of these towels with some diluted Sephora. This sort of towel is fine as long as it doesn't shed like little bits because you don't want little um, hairy bits all over your makeup. Go on the mirror, give it a good wipe. And then I wipe all around the rim as well with this because you'll find the rim in here gathers quite a lot of product. And then I'll just close it, wipe all over the edge. Some of these are really gross, it's so embarrassing. That's one completely sanitised and clean product. I'm really bad because I use the back of my palettes to like put foundations on and stuff and concealers and then I just don't even wipe it off half the time and then they just get gross. So there, another one. We'll do one last one and then I'll have to speed this up because I feel like I'm going to be here for hours doing this. So all over the mirror, then around all the little edges and then give it a good wipe on the outside. Okay guys, so they are all put back and look at all that that's come off. That's all fallout which gathers on your mirrors and like around the edges. Yeah, we haven't even done that many and that's how much dirt it is. That's why I've got two cloths because I just know my stuff's going to be gross. Like bottles or like loose powders which I can't like physically go in and spray. I do like to still sort of disinfect all around the rim because that I mean just look at that it's so gross that's what I use to like put my foundation on and yeah it's just nasty 
So let's get these out. Again, I've used the top of that as a palette. Like all around there is all quite dirty now. But any sort of bottles and things, it doesn't hurt just to just put some on your cloth and just give everything like a bit of a wipe down. Especially like around things like this because a lot of um, product can gather around the lids and then it starts to go a little bit gross. So, and then around here. Especially like if you are a makeup artist, you want your kit looking spotless. Like when somebody sits in your chair, you want them to look and see how clean everything is, like brushes and stuff. I'm like so OCD with my uh, makeup kit at work, but I always lack on my own stuff. I think we all do, really. Okay, so let's move on to foundations and concealers because these are also something that can get like really gross. So I've got my foundations and concealers around the nozzles get really dirty and around the tops as well which I don't like. This one I hate the Maybelline eraser eye because it's literally so impossible to clean. It just looks like that from the moment you get it so we can forget about that one. Again you could use like any sort of wipe like a disinfectant wipe. But we're living in times where we can't find anything like that. So I'm literally, I'm just going to use the same cloth, which is why I bought new cloths up. But yeah, we'll just give these a really good clean because they do look, especially if this was in your makeup kit. I tend to use foundations which I can squeeze out, but still like the nozzles on them will still get like clumped up a bit. All nice and clean. And then I'll just check the cap just inside, give that a wipe and pop it back in. So we'll do the same on all, all of these. And then with like concealers, because they are usually like a day for applicator, I will just give all those just a quick wipe over. Let's move on to eyeshadow palettes because I feel like these are going to be the worst of the worst. Okay, so again with these, I'm going to set them all out so they're ready. I just find it quicker doing it this way. I'm going to pull off my bits of tissue. So say we're doing this one. I'll just give everything a once wipe over and it is a little bit time consuming but then I know that everything's like completely clean then. Then I can spray with my sanitizing spray. Just do like a spray and a spray so I know I've got every single shadow. Then what I will do to save a little bit of time is I'll wipe and spray and then by the time I've finished and I get back to the start, then I can do my Zaflora wipe down. And as I wipe down, I'll do a swipe on one and then use a different area of the tissue for like every single colour so you don't merge all of your eyeshadows together. <laughs> So I've sprayed them all with my antibacterial spray and as I go around now they should all be drying in time for me to suffer over them. So I'm going to use the other side of this cloth so you can see how dirty eyeshadow palettes get. And all around the edges of the eyeshadows do get really dirty. I know that there is a hack that if you put a wipe over like a completely flat surface but I don't think it's going to work because this cloth is quite fluffy. Oh actually yeah it does. I didn't think that that would work actually because the cloth's quite fluffy. Clean the whole palette without it going on any of your eyeshadows and you'd be so surprised at how dirty these get. Look at that, it's gross. And if I've like smudged any areas I can just go back in just with my finger and just get those bits. So let's try another one. And with something like this, I'll just do it with my hands. In here as well, where you get like a brush, 
with your eyeshadow palette that gathers loads of dust in there so always make sure you get right in there and clean that out if you have got a steady hand what I do is I'll just go I do one straight down and then I go through the middle and down so the middle down middle down and then I'll turn it over and do middle down as well and then of course give the outside a good wipe down as well this is just the way that I'm used to doing it so I feel like I can do it quite quick without smudging any of the eyeshadows Okay, so these are finally all done. So these can all go straight back. The last thing is my lipstick drawer. So when it comes to your bullet lipsticks, you can just take those out and give them a spray with your makeup spray because you can use that on any makeup, but just make sure that you leave it on the side to dry before you put um, the top back on. And then for like liquid lipsticks, really, you can only just sort of wipe down the edges so all of these can have a good wipe. These are all of my liquid lipsticks which I've wiped down. I've opened all my lipsticks and bullets up so I'm just going to quickly give them a spray and then they can just stay there and dry off. And then when it comes to pencils you can't really sanitize a pencil unless you sharpen it so I'll just give all my pencils a good sharpen put the end on uh, there's a lot of pencils so I'll give all these a good sharpen okay and then when I've got a group of quite a few again I will spray with this just give them a quick spray and then they can go on the side to dry and then I'll just carry on and do the rest. <laughs> I also do that with my eye pencils as well. So I'm just going to quickly finish these off and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so that is it. Thank you for cleaning my makeup with me. Look at how dirty that rag is. It is shameful. It's pretty much the same as how I clean my professional kit. But with my pro kit, I'm using the products different, so I'm not double dipping in anything. And with like lipsticks, I scrape them off and stuff. So there are a few things which are different, but I don't think my personal makeup kit has been so clean before ever. With brushes, I'm probably going to give them a deep clean this week. So I'll probably share that on my stories. If you're interested, then let me know. Or if you want a video on it as well, let me know. Thank you for keeping me company today. My makeup has never been so clean before. And I'm going to try and stay on top of it now now i've cleaned everything so i really hope you enjoyed today's video please let me know if you did down in the comments and please give it a big thumbs up as well and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye